When is after two minutes of cutting? Huh? Speak loud. From where place? From Olu. Olu where? Huh? I'm from Imo. Imo State. Imo State, yes. Olu yes. town from Imo State. Yes. How long have you been in Ghana? Just listen to one minute. What is your name? My name is Asuzu Divine. Divine? Yes. How old are you? I'm 16 years. 16 years. My God. How long have you been in Ghana? 27th of this month, my name is two months. Two months. You are from Imo State? Yes. What is your name? My name is Odrupe Ole Bimera. I'm from Imo State. That was... That was... No. South. Sorry. That was South. Sorry. You will be fine in Jesus' name. God will take care of you, my children. What is your name, sister? My name is Selina Dandula. I'm from Plateau State. Oh, my name. How old are you? I'm 18 years. How long have you been in Ghana? Seven. On seven of this month, we gave me two, two months. Oh. My name is Adrukwe Onyechukwu. My name is Adrukwe Onyechukwu. Where are you from? Imo State. Imo State. How old are you? 16 years. 16 years. Stand up, let me see you. My brother, this one, two, three. They are the same mother and the same father. Three of you are from the same mother. The same father. The same father. Yes. Have you spoken to your parents? One, Where this are your phones? This is our phones. You are taking all your phones. Yes. Who brought you to Ghana? Mr. Mr. The brother. The brother of this person. The brother of this one. Okay. So you are from Imo State. 16 years. The same mother and the same father. 43. Jesus Christ. So you are still 15 plus. And you have been in Ghana. And what have they been doing to you? They take you out to see men. To see men. And they, and they pay you. No, they don't pay me. Any money you work, they treat you. We give them everything. 15 years. Mm. See our children in diaspora 15 years out of their own wish. Children are supposed to be in school. These are the great future leaders of Nigeria in diaspora. 15 years. Three children from one father, same mother from Imo State. That's it. Ha! <laughs> hey. So, guys, that's a boy again. Don't slink. I hope you're on a day. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Firstly, I want to give a shout out to all those humanitarians who are risking their life to go out of their way to revoke, to invoke, and to expose these kind of uh, things that are going on. Eh? Thank you very much. It's not easy to leave your house, your comfort of your home, your comfort of your own kids, eh? to go and rescue other people's children. I told now see, say most of the place me they talk about Imu, 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 not only one plateau now here. Igbo, 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 now they talk about. And if they start talking about it now, about Igbo people, now that they do themselves, when it comes to uh, trading of humans, person go they shout. Why did they refer to Igbo? I asked a question on Twitter. I said, during the slave trade time, is there any record that showed, that showed Aousa and Fulani engaging in slave trade? I don't know yet, because if you check the main site of slave trade, they are usually at the south, south, the middle belt. I, I don't, I don't know yet. Too. That is why I'm asking. Hmm? Why did they usually be like that? Why? 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 If I say Igbo now, people say, why am I exploring Igbo? Why, why? That is why it's really, really hard for me to call. If I say Igbo now, they will talk, you know, it would be hard for my mouth to say Igbo. In most states, now only one plateau I see for there. In most states, only one plateau. And I tell you, all those uh, babies, factory, all those where they are all over there. Human eaters are all over there. It's crazy. And then you talk. Someone you will say, why are you talking about it? Why do you classify it as uh, being a Igbo's problem? It's not an Igbo problem. It's a Nigeria problem. But then, we should be our brother's keeper before an outsider. We come and keep us safe. We should keep our women safe before outsider will come and keep them safe. 
We should protect our girls before outsider will come and protect them. We should be a custodian of our own protection. But of course, such video breaks my heart, guys. I don't like you that. Such video really, really breaks my heart. Really, really breaks my heart. They pay, they pay you 200 cities every day. Yes. Uh, among the gears we just rescued, we have three of them that are the same mother, the same father. Yes. And they are with you. Yes. And you know they are the same mother, the same father. Yes. You know. Yes. And we have your sister, the same mother, the same father with you. Yes. That you also put in her to be doing a prostitution. Yes. And you think what you are doing, what you have done is right? No, it's not good. Well, it's not good. And then why did he engage into that? Because and these gears, some of them are 14 years, 15 years, 16 years. Is that correct? No, they are the ones that call you from Nigeria. I said these gears, some of them are 14, 15, 16, 17 no, years. No. What's their age? No. When, when I called them, they said that. I said, what's their age? They said that 20 years. 16, 17 years. What's their age? When, the, when I called them, they said that. I said, what's their age? They said that 20 years. They said that <laughs> well <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy guys it's crazy this is what the uh, google of Lagos say it's crazy guys <laughs> what the hell what the hell what the hell hmm, it's crazy guys it's crazy it's crazy guys well, it is what it is, guys, and uh, like I've said before, we should be custodial of our own protection first, protect our neighborhood. If a girl meets you say, I want to do this kind of thing, why are you even engaging it? That's why I said that uh, men are the problem. If men do not patronize hookup, do not patronize the lotion, why would there, there ever be anything called the lotion? You know? We keep castigating the likes of uh, Suja Bosch, all those girls they have uh, like Celine, FIBA, all those kind of things. We keep con we keep uh, criticizing them. But yet, if we sit back and relax and check, who are really the cause of all those things we are going through in our society? Men. If you refuse to allow such thing in our society, if you refuse to patronize such thing in our society, it will not happen. It will not happen. There will not be any market called a low-show market, hook-up market, nothing like that. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be, it won't happen. It won't happen. Abba! We really need, we have a really, really long way to go. Honestly, we have a, this guy should be thrown in jail for the rest of his life. I don't know why. If all those things happen in a country that is, that is sane, like a really, like all those Islamic countries, this guy is a gunner. Absolutely a gunner. They just immediately eradicate his line from the surface of the earth so that it will not pollute other people <sighs> let me let, let's be honest although some of you don't like rugged laws some of you don't like brutal laws laws that are just brutal that's just straightforward the way it is some of you do not like it some of you claim it's cannibalism but such laws are actually good in our society. For example, castrating somebody who raped someone. That is a really good law. But we say, oh no, it's, 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 too, it's not too good, it's not too good. No, no, we should paint it a little bit. Give him 15 years, give him 12 years. What the hell are you guys talking about? There are brutal laws eh, that are good in our society. Well, that being said, let's check this one out. This one is about a cheating woman, though. And, uh, you know, cheating is uh, one of uh, all those uh, things that we also battle in our society. Check it out, guys. Sit down. Okay. Sit down. 
Sit. Okay. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Okay, sit, sit down. down. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Chunduma. You know this one is, is a married woman. Is a full married woman. Okay. Someone f go out to your wife. How are you going to feel? Very bad. Very bad, eh? You know how I feel right now, eh? It's only I'm controlling my emotion, eh? Or I can kill you. I swear. Only I'm controlling. I'm from picking my children now, now. Drop me under the salon. I'm going to communicate with this lady. She's been telling me he's in tough way. And I know he's not in tough way. Every doctor in the phone, I know. It's because of you he put password. His WhatsApp is in my WhatsApp. Everything you are keeping with my wife, I know. Someone, are you married? Yes, sir. You are married. You, you know this, you don't know this man is married? You are fucking a married woman? And this cop is from my place? The cop, my place, that time you, you cook her food again, it's me must eat that food, you remember? In the lodge day, you give me a food. Why are you doing that? Do you see me the lady in your life? Do you see me the lady in your life? I will you, I, I use all my energy because of you people to make you happy. All my energy to make you happy. You are sitting here at the married woman, at the married woman. Do you think that makes sense, my brother? No, Does it make sense? No, it's wrong. It's wrong, no? From, you are, you are living in Mungo. Are you losing? You are what? We trouble you. Tonga, you are Tonga. Okay. This one is a lousy. You know this video I'm going to send this in Nigeria. I'm going to send this video in CR1. All of you are going to, all the world are going to know you people. I swear. I'm not going to touch you. This is your laptop. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, I'll... That woman no send that man papa. That woman no send the husband papa. She doesn't have one atom of feelings, one atom of love for that husband. Please, if we ever wake up, we shouldn't underrate women's attitude in our life. If a woman start giving you attitude one day, two days, just they look like that. See, for me, love is gone. Well, what are you doing in my house then? You are living. Even if you are giving me food, that is why me, eh, see, if I get married hmm, and my woman gives me attitude, I will not eat that food from that day onward. I will not collect any single penny from her, any single food. In fact, I will stop dropping money in the house because I function with love, with appreciation, with respect. That's what I function with. I know some people will say there are still other women that will cheat on you and also respect you in your own house. They will also pack food and give you to eat. Okay, okay, okay. If if that's a scenario, there will still be another way for me to find out. But for me, I function with love. And the day you start giving me attitude from that day, that moment, I stop interacting with you. I stop giving you any everything that you want. I stop providing. Because why do I provide for a woman? Because of the respect and love. Because of the respect. And when you stop giving me respect, then the contract is has, has been broken. I stop providing for you. I stop providing for you immediately from that moment. I stop providing for you. I stop everything provisioned for you. I stop. Immediately from that moment. Immediately from that moment, I stop. Of course, you can see the woman not saying the man, Papa. He doesn't have one single remorse. You, 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 the, the plate that you use in serving your husband, you use it to serve another person's husband. <laughs> what the hell? It's crazy, though. It's crazy. And to even think, the man said he has never cheated on that woman before. That is your fault, oh. <laughs> Well, it's crazy that, oh, what the hell, what the hell is wrong in this world? What the hell? That woman feels nothing. Feels nothing. 